This is a video we're going to show you of us putting in a lawnmower and cleaning it in the Mighty One. It can be cleaned in the Mighty One or the Super Mighty One. I'm just going to get some close-up pictures so we can see all the dirt, the grass. Here's some more close-ups. All right, Ben, let's put it in the tank. All right, what, tell us what you're doing. I'm going to disconnect the throttle cable just to, so I can go ahead and take the handles off, it'll be a little bit easier to get into the tank. Alright, so this fits nicely on the Mighty One. It'll fit on the lift. Okay, in the Super Mighty One, it would be that much easier. But not bad. A nice fit for the Mighty One. Here's a close-up of the wheels before. Now we have a little bit better lighting, so I just want to take some some close-ups so we can see what's going on. All right, what are you doing next? I'm going to go ahead and take off the air cleaner. It'll clean a little bit better if you open it up and put it into the tank. And before I went ahead and took off the handle and disassembled it, I also took out the gasoline and the oil. Now the filter is able to be cleaned a little bit better. I'm working. Okay, so what's the next step? I'm going to go ahead and use a cleaner we call parts cleaner. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and pre-spray the underneath of the machine and then lay it back down and spray the top. That will loosen up all the dirty soils. Before I did this, what I did is I took a scraper and I got off the bulk of the grass to go ahead and make so the machine does not get as dirty. Now this parts cleaner we're using, this is safe on aluminum because we have aluminum parts. It's not going to pit any of these metals. Now it's safe on everything. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the machine now and put it on the rack. Well, that's not bad for a couple of minutes in the tank. 
nice and detailed. Let's come around this way, take a look. All right, let's leave it in for maybe two more minutes, see what happens, and then we can start working on the rust. That's yeah. that did pretty good underneath. Yeah, it's pretty impactful. Mm -hmm. Metal already. All right, well that's why we'll we'll leave it for two more minutes. Yeah, it's all, mm -hmm. all loose. All right, before we put it back in, we decided let's, since we have it flipped over, let's hit the rust now. So we have another solution for that. You want to talk about that one? This is Power Clean. Basically mm -hmm. what it is, it's a, it's a cleaner and an acid mixed together. It breaks down the rust. One thing for cleaning and also for as like uh, if you need to paint something again. Say if you wanted to repaint this, you would use the Power Clean. It strips the rust down to where you're able to put a primer on and then a paint but this will work on rust. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray that on. Now we don't we don't want it we only want to spray it on the bottom because we have other metals on this that it could harm, right? Yes. So, just on the bottom. So we need a spray. Do we fix the spray bottle now? Okay, so let's go. Let's spray that. This is kind of strong. I do advise you to wear gloves when using it. It does have kind of a strong smell. What I'm going to do is just give it a little brush, let it work in. All right, so let's lower it back in. Water's a completely different color now. All right, let's see what we did. Well, the mower looks nice. It, it looks, honestly, it looks just as nice as it did the first time we took it out, with a little bit more detail, like on the wheels and things like that. Let's turn it over. Okay, so what are you going to do next? I'm going to go ahead, use the heated blow dry gun, mm -hmm. blow some of the stuff out, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take it outside and blow out the excess because I have to turn it upside down, and that'll get the other water out of anything else that's stuck inside the motor. Very good. Okay. All right, the last step are all those parts that we took out. That was the air filter, right? Yes. So we're going to spray those down.
let's raise it up. They look good. That looks great. You almost can say you don't need to buy a new one. Yeah. <laughs> let's see the other one. How'd that come out? Just need to wipe it off because it is the gas and oil. If there's mm -hmm. just an oil residue, you just wipe it right off with a towel. Very good. So we got a brand new mower here. Well, not brand new, but as close as we're going to get. How old is this mower? Four years. Four years old. Hard work. <laughs> okay, so that's the lawnmower in the mighty one. And it could have been done in the super mighty one. So here it is, all dry. And we started it up and it works. And it looks great. Nice and shiny. Fantastic.